Good morning. Today we are testing the impact of the charging speed at AC level on the losses as we charge. So we've got the OBD dongle, we've got a car that's connected to a cable but it's also switched off and we will be um, taking a look at the performance of the charging so you can see at the minute we are not charging or not discharging it's 70 degrees celsius at sign we've not driven um, so that means the car is cold but hopefully at 17 degrees that wouldn't make too much of a difference the electricity usage of the house is about 100 watts at the minute because we are going to be charging we are going to double check how much is our consumption so that's quite important as the reference saying 6.22 so 635 is the average and we're consuming 7.1 kilowatts and the battery is not uh, close to 100 percent which is quite useful there should be no balancing of the cells or anything like that We've now capped at 10 amperes for the uh, energy coming out of the sink EV. This is 2.2 minus 0.1 equals 2.10 kilowatt hours coming out of the sink EV. What is that? Well, I think it's about 1.83. Looks a little bit more stable than it was before where it was going up and down something is drawing a little more power in the house now as our new reference we'll take that into account and we are starting at 16 amp maybe 320 as the average 320 so about 3.6 a bit below 3.6 is the actual usage Around 26 now, 621 minus 0.176. All right, we are back on 32 amps. And again, 7.1. All right, six amps. The house is consuming 0.3 kilowatt. All right, maybe seven, eight. Point eight, in fact. <laughs> on 1.23 okay 0.85 now interesting still 1.5 we're back inside and it's now time to look at the results we start with the bottom line 32 amps is the reference max output for the sink ev it would dispense about 7.1 kilowatt and the car receives 6.4 nothing surprising there we lose 0.67 kilowatt in the process that's a 9.4 percent loss or i should call it inefficiency and that's what we retain because there could be many reasons why uh, that energy uh, doesn't come on the other side at the opposite and six amps was the minimum we tested it just means that the car received 0.85 kilowatts on the wall box dispensing 1.22 so that's 30 percent inefficiency and a difference of 0.37 kilowatt 
Now that difference of 0.37 seems to be quite consistent when you're on 6 amps, 10 amps, 16 amps, although I can't quite explain why 10 amps would have an absolute difference, an absolute inefficiency lower, because that's probably what the system consumes to translate, to convert the energy into uh, what the, the battery needs. So about 350 watts is probably the bare minimum you're gonna be losing in this process. And you can see that at 10 amps, we have lost about 13%. At 16 amps, we are at 10%. And very soon, 22 amps, 26 amps, 32 amps, it seems very, very similar in terms of what is lost in terms of inefficiency. So there is no particular sweet spot once you are above 16 amps, because it seems that any speed is gonna give you the same efficiency of charging on AC. And that's our conclusion for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.